A homeowner is laying sod in her lawn. The lawn is a rectangle with dimensions of 28 feet by 18 feet. If one piece of sod is a rectangle with dimensions of 60 centimeters by 40 centimeters, approximately how many pieces of sod should the homeowner order? Convert the measurements to a common unit. We'll use centimeters in this example. Twenty-eight feet is eight hundred fifty-three point four four centimeters, and eighteen feet is five hundred forty-eight point six four centimeters. We write the sides of the lawn in centimeters. The formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals LW. Plug in the length and width of the lawn. The area is 468,231.32 square centimeters. Now we'll find the area of the sod. Plug in the length and width of a piece of sod. The area is 2,400 square centimeters. Now divide the area of the lawn by the area of a piece of sod to get the number of pieces required to cover the lawn. Dividing the values gives 195. Therefore, 195 pieces of sod are required to cover the lawn. Now we'll move on to part B. A homeowner wants to replace the linoleum in their kitchen. If linoleum costs six fifty per square foot, what is the total cost of the linoleum? The counter and kitchen island do not require linoleum. The total area of the kitchen is forty square meters. Now we'll find the area of the triangular kitchen island. The area of the triangle is 0 0.9 square meters. Now we'll find the area of the counter shown by the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 2.87 square meters. Now we'll find the area for the remainder of the counter. The area is 2.94 square meters. Now subtract the used floor space, counter and island, from the total floor space. This is the area of linoleum that must be ordered. Starting with the total area in green, subtract all of the unneeded areas in red. This gives 33.29 square meters. Let's store the floor area so we can reference it later. Before we complete this question, let's take a moment to learn about square feet and square meters. This is a one foot by one foot square. The area of the square is one square foot. If we were to measure the square in metric, we would have side lengths of 0 0.3048 meters. Using the metric side lengths gives an area of 0 0.0929 square meters. So, one square foot equals 0 0.0929 square meters. The price of the linoleum is given in square feet, so convert the floor area from square meters to square feet. We know one square foot equals 0 0.0929 square meters. We want to eliminate square meters, so put 0 0.0929 square meters in the denominator. 
we are trying to get square feet, so put one square foot in the numerator. Thirty three point two nine divided by zero point zero nine two nine is three hundred fifty eight point three four. The units of square meters cancel out, leaving square feet. Now we'll calculate the price of the linoleum. Multiply the floor area, 358.34 square feet, by the cost of the linoleum, 650 per square foot. Three hundred fifty eight point three four times six point five zero is two thousand three hundred twenty nine point two one. The units of square feet cancel out, leaving dollars. So the cost of the flooring is two thousand three hundred twenty nine dollars and twenty one cents.